First thing I'm doing is taking my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and I'm just going to put that all over my skin using my Real Technique sponge. I absolutely love this way of applying foundation. Um, I usually wet the sponge and it expands quite a bit but this time I just used it dry. But yeah, the Real Technique sponge is awesome and it is way cheaper than the Beauty Blender so I would definitely recommend it. After that, I'm going to go in with the Age Rewind Concealer. Um, this is an awesome concealer. I've been using it for a while now. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes, um, on my chin, bridge of my nose, forehead, and my cupid's bow. I really like to cover all the bases when it comes to highlighting, really brighten up the face. So I'm just going to take the same sponge that I used before and blend that on out. I avoided eye primer today and I just decided to use the same concealer that I used for everything else and I'm just going to blend that in with the sponge. Really trying to keep the products to a minimum here so that you guys can see how easy and affordable looks like this can be. Next I'm going to take the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. It's very powdery as you can see and I'm just going to dust that everywhere that I kind of little extra product um, such as the highlights so underneath my eyes I'll put some on my chin and I'm gonna make sure you get those eyelids really good since I didn't use eye primer yeah just dust it all over the face now I'm gonna take a spoolie and brush through those eyebrows I know that I don't have a ton of eyebrow hair but I still always feel like I don't need to skip this step um, I feel like I have to spoolie them so yeah let's what I'm doing. Taking a ColourPop eyebrow pencil, you can use whatever eye pencil you have, and I'm just going to try really hard not to screw up my eyebrows. I am not a professional, and you can probably see me getting frustrated, but eyebrows are hard, and I do the best I can, so I'm just going to speed this up. After I finish my brows, I always go through and spoolie them one more time to just kind of blend out the color, especially if the pencil I'm using is a little dark, which the one I'm using today kind of is, so yeah. Next I'm taking the NYC Bronzer. This is in the shade Sunny. This is a super inexpensive bronzer that you can get at the drugstore or Walmart or whatever, anywhere that sells NYC, and it's so good. I would definitely recommend it, so I'm just going to kind of put that my cheekbones or underneath in the hollows of my cheeks I should say and just kind of around the face to warm it up make me look a little more bronzed Next for blusher, I'm going to use this Kat Von D blush. This is in the shade Bellissima. Well, I don't know, but that's what it looks like it says. It's a really pretty, um, it looks very matte um, pink blush. I really like it a lot. I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. On to highlight, I'm using the Mary Luminizer. Um, highlighter and I love this it's so pretty you could obviously skip highlighter if you're really not into that but I'm gonna use this product to highlight my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna use it later on in the tutorial as well I'll show you in a minute moving on to the eyes we're gonna go in with the naked palette and this just flat eyeshadow brush I'm taking the shade have to look at my palette and see what shade it is buck and I'm going to put that on my lid I'm not super neat with this. I'm just covering all of my lid with this brown shade. I'm not going above my crease. I'm just trying to keep it focused on my lid. Next I'm taking a fluffier brush and I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to kind of just smooth it into my crease. Um, not a ton, but kind of feather it out. Very not super concentrated look, but just kind of blend it into the crease a little bit. I'm 
I'm going to take a smaller brush that is a little better for defining the crease and I'm going to use the Unique Moonstruck Addiction 1 palette and I'm going to go into the shade Forthright, which is the second from the last. It's a dark brown and I'm just going to kind of slap that into the crease, the outer crease. This is so not going to be super like beautiful right now, but once you blend it out, it's going to look great. So I'm going to take a big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend all of those colors together. And you're just getting a nice smoked out brown look. taking a little bit of powder and brushing it underneath to get any fallout that might have fallen. Taking a really small brush that I can use underneath my lash line and I'm going to take that same dark brown shade that we used from the Unique palette to tie the under eyes to the lid and I'm just going to put it on the outer portion of the lid. Next I'm taking a really small elf brush, I think I got this at Target. And I'm going to take that highlighter that we used before and I'm going to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes. I like using um, the same highlight I use on my cheeks and my lids because it kind of just ties everything together. So, and you're using less product. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm going to go in with the Super Sizer Mascara as well as Lash Paradise. Um, I bought Lash Paradise and I want to use it, so I'm trying to combine it with other mascaras. So I'm starting with the Lash Paradise and I'm just going to get a good solid coat of that on my lashes. And then I'll go in with the Super Sizer next um, on top. And it really does a great job with the combination of two. I just don't love the Super Sizer by itself. So, yeah, this I believe is still the Super Sizer we're working with. No, I'm sorry, this is the Lash Paradise that we're doing first. And then, now we're using the Super Sizer. This is my favorite mascara. And I'm just going to put another coat of that on top. This is my attempt at trying to show you that it really does give nice long lashes. Um, I don't have like the best lashes, but I think that's pretty good. So yeah, and you can see it's just a nice simple brown bronze look. It was so super easy. Anybody could do it. Now I'm taking this lipstick. I think this was a Rimmel lipstick. I'll put the shade in the down bar below. It's just a nice rose um, pinky shade and I'm just going to apply that really fast so that my lips don't look dead. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, if you did, please let me know and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!